Well, howdy, everybody. Um, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks and a little bit of a speed round for headers and footers for our week nine assignment. Um, headers and footers are one of the areas that I see students kind of trip up the most. Even myself, there'll be documents where I just kind of mess up on headers and footers. And one of the reasons why is there's Word is looking for a specific order of operations, meaning you do this, do this, do this. If you do it in that order, everything works out perfectly. But if anything is out of order, it can throw things completely out of whack. I've worked with students where everything looked right on the document. They looked like they did everything right, but for some reason those page numbers just didn't come out right or they'd be missing or just improperly formatted. And we'd have to scrap the entire document, start from scratch, do the correct order of operations, and it magically just works. So Word is a little fickle that way. It's going to do things in its own weird little way, but I'm going to show you the order of oper uh, order of operations for this particular assignment. And it's good for pretty much any assignment. So we're going to dig right in here. So the, the assignment is headers and footers, and we need to have a document that ends up looking like this one, where we have our headers with your name, date, and then it's, it flips. So your name right now is on the left, the next page, it's on the right. And the same with the page numbers. They're going to alternate, but you'll notice that they have two numbers, a number of dash and a number. It's going to be ch chapter number and page number of that chapter. Okay. So we're going to dig right in. I'm going to show you really fast how to do it, and then I'll break it apart. But I want to show you the, the how quickly you can do the order of operations and get it all done. So here we go. I'm going to open up the raw document. So here's the raw document. And you may think it's weird that I'm going to start with the headers and the footers, but trust me, it'll work out better. So we know that we need the name on the left, so I'm just going to start with that one. And then I am going to insert an alignment tab. Before I do that, let me back up a little bit. Um, you know how to get to the headers. You double click in the header, just making sure everybody knows that. So here we go. I'm gonna insert in the right alignment. I am going to put the date in the proper format that we want. Do that. And now you notice they're same on both sides, but now I'm just gonna come over here, different odds and evens. And I am going to put the date and time because I want that on the left. Insert an alignment tab, go to the right, put my name. Okay, so we now we've got the alternating header. I'm going to go down to the footer. And I know I'm going out of order of what the assignment asks you to do, but that's okay, trust me. I'm going to go to page number, format page numbers, and you're going to get an error message when you do this. I'm going to format my page numbers to be 1, 2, and 3, include the chapter number, and I want it to start at 1. For each chapter. Click OK. It's going to give you an error message. There's no chapter numbers. Just click OK. And then I'm going to insert a page number. And I know that this one I want on the bottom. We'll do the bottom left. Oops, did that in the wrong spot. OK, here we go. Bottom left. There we go. All right, so now I got my page numbers. They're alternating. Don't worry about it. Uh, over to this guy, and we're going to put the page number on the right. Okay, but I don't have the number dash number, okay? But now I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to insert my breaks. In the correct location. And then I'm going to insert my chapters. And I'm going to explain all of this after I'm done. I'm just showing you how quickly it can be done. The order of operations is done properly. So now I have my alternating headers. And look, magically, number dash number. This is chapter one, page two. Chapter two, page one. Chapter two, page two. Chapter three, page one. All right. So I'm going to close this document out. I'm going to explain exactly what I did. But I wanted to show you how quickly you can do it if the order of operations is properly done. So. First thing, double click up in the header to get to the header section, and that opens up the the uh, header ribbon up here. And put your name, because we want your name to be on the left for the first one. And then you're going to insert an alignment tab. Alignment tab means it's going to split the header into two, two spots. So we want it to be on the right. We don't want any leaders. Remember dot leader tabs? Kind of like that. And then now our cursor is over here on the right, and we want to go to date and time and choose the correct date format. 
and then you notice that it is the same on every single page now. So what we want to do is select different odd and even pages up in the options. That'll get rid of it on the even page. And it seems like it's a lot of work. You got to replicate it to the to the next page, but then it replicates it on every even and odd page. You're only having to do this twice. So on this one, I'm going to put the date first. Then I'm going to do my alignment tab. I'm going to type my name. And if I double click, double click back in the document, you can see that now my the headers are alternated. And then I'm going to double click to get into my footer. <clears throat> And here's the trickiest part. If I were to do this out of order, if I were to create my chapter numbers and create my sections first, believe it or not, Word may not properly format my page numbers. So it's important to format your page numbers prior to creating your chapters and your section breaks. It doesn't seem right, but that's the way Word is sometimes. Some people may not have any problems, but depending on the version of Word, how many customizations of Word you've had, it could throw things off. So I'm in the, the footer now. I'm going to go to page number and I want to format my page numbers. I do this first so I don't have to worry about doing it again. Go to format page numbers. Remember, you can have different formats for our page numbers. We want one, two, and three. And we want to include the chapter number. And by default, chapter numbers start with the style heading one. And that's what our document has. And then we want our page numbering to start at one. We don't want it to continue from the previous section. When we get into documents where we have a uh, cover page, this is really critical because otherwise your chap your page numbers would start at two when they need to start at one because the cover page doesn't really count as a page. Technically, neither does table of contents, table of figures, stuff like that. But we'll get into that later. So we want to start it at one and click OK. And again, we're going to get that error message saying, you don't have any chapter numbers, you know, go to the multi-level list button. We're going to do that in a second. So click OK. And then we're going to insert a page number at the bottom of the page on the left. And then go to the, the footer for an even page. You go to page number, bottom of the page, and do it on the right. So now we have our page numbers. One, two, three, four, and five. But now, so we are done with the headers and footers. Whoop, we're done. Now we want to go to our online content because that's what the assignment calls for. Remember the assignment was saying uh, we want to make sure you're inserting a section break using multi-level list. These are kind of out of order a little bit. It might trip you up. So just remember my order of operations are do the headers and footers first, then do your section breaks and your chapter numbers. So it's going to say we want a section break with a new page with online content. So we're going to go to layout, breaks, section breaks next page so it's going to push it to the next page we're going to put our cursor in front of e-commerce and do the same thing and then we're, there we go and our page numbers haven't changed but you notice that now they're starting over again that's a good thing so then we're going to go to the very top put our cursor right next to the word navigating and we're going to go back to the home ribbon click on this button here for the multi-level lists and choose the one that says chapter. And what that'll do is insert the word chapter and create and uh, create a new chapter. And then it puts chapter two in that one and puts chapter three on that one. And magically we have our chapter page numbers already formatted. That is it for that assignment. It is daunting if you run into problems you can spin your wheels for hours. If you're running into problems with page numbers and it's taking you longer than 30 minutes to figure it out, please email me, text me, let me know. I can help you out. It's, it's a pretty easy fix. Uh, this particular assignment, it's easy to scrap it, start from scratch. You're not having to retype anything, so it's not a big deal. So hopefully this helps out. Let me know if you have any questions. Sorry for the length of this video, but chapter numbers, uh, page numbers and headers, tend to trip students up. So I wanted to spend a little bit of extra time to kind of explain the order of operations, especially for this assignment. I'd hate for anybody to spend a huge amount of time on something that could be done in a few seconds. So take care, everybody. You're doing a great job.